Okay, so in this experiment, I'm going to oxidize ethanol to ethanoic acid. So this is a full oxidation of ethanol without um, obviously burning it all the way to carbon dioxide and water. So this experiment involves us having to reflux the ethanol um, with a mixture of sodium dichromate and sulfuric acid. The recommended method um, from the safety point of view uses sodium dichromate. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a few anti-bumping granules into the flask. So the anti-bumping granules are there just to control the boiling, make small bubbles um, as the, the reaction mixture boils. Just pop a funnel into the flask and um, I've got 18 centimetres cubed of a mixture of sodium dichromate um, and sulfuric acid. Um, we've dissolved 3.5 grams of, 3.4 grams of sodium dichromate into three molar mole per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid. Um, that's been cooled, so um, we'll just add that into the flask. It's a um, fairly hazardous material, um, acidified sodium dichromate. So um, precautions wearing gloves um, and eye protection. And it's, it's important not to get this mixture onto your skin. Um, it can cause dermatitis by skin contact. So we've got our um, oxidizing agent, the acidified sodium dichromate in there. I'm just going to assemble the apparatus for reflux. So we've got um, the condenser, water coming in at the bottom. And um, filling the, the, the jacket around the, the tube um, coming out at the top. So that um, flask is going to be, oh, sorry, that condenser is going to be um, constantly cooled down. Before I start heating it, I'm going to add my alcohol. So I'm going to use ethanol and I'm going to add one centimetre cubed of ethanol. I'm going to add it fairly slowly um, down the condenser so that any reaction that occurs, um, any vapours will be kept in the, um, in the condenser. So just add um, a few drops of the ethanol into that mixture and you can see immediately there is a reaction happening there. The um, dichromate is changing colour going from orange to green and you can see as I add um, the remainder of that ethanol that the reaction is exothermic, it's already boiling, I don't need to heat it at all. Um, and the vapours, the ethanol, initially, um, as it partially oxidises, um, the, the vapours will be rising into the condenser um, and cooling down and um, will be dripping back into that reaction mixture. So I'm just going to let that reaction um, subside a little bit. Then I'm going to surround the flask with hot water and I'm going to let the, the mixture reflux um, for about 20 minutes or so um, in order to enable the ethanol to, to oxidise to ethanoic acid. So we'll, we'll let that calm down, we'll add some hot water, not boiling water, but hot water from the kettle. Um, and, um, and then I'll put a Bunsen burner underneath it in a, in a few minutes, um, just to enable that to react. Okay, just gonna add a little bit of hot water. Reaction will speed up. just surround that reaction mixture 
that hot water. And then I'm just going to heat up the mixture with the Bunsen burner just to let that continue boiling um, and we'll let that boil um, for about 20 minutes. Okay, so that's been refluxing for 20 minutes and um, it's cooled down a little bit and I've rearranged the apparatus now for distillation. So turn on the water to the condenser. You see the water filling up that tube um, and cooling the, the condenser. Um, so I'm going to heat up the, the mixture. I'm going to distill off the um, ethanoic acid. Hopefully we've produced ethanoic acid. Um, and the vapors will come over and be collected in this um, iced water um, over here. So using a micro Bunsen um, to provide um, the heat for this. So vapors now starting to collect up here. Um, temperature of that, those vapors um, shooting up to, to over 100 degrees. Um, ethanoic acid has a, a boiling point of about 118 degrees C, so um, higher than water. So vapors now starting to collect in the condenser and um, condensing in there and see drips of liquid coming through and um, now coming down the receiver and we're now collecting um, vapors uh, sorry collecting um, the distillate the liquid um, hopefully that will be ethanoic acid um, collecting that in the the test tube um, which is obviously being cooled so we'll collect um, a few centimetres cubed of, of liquid and then we'll test that liquid just to see if it is actually ethanoic acid. Okay, so here's the um, ethanoic acid which I obtained. Definitely smells of vinegar. Um, just going to add a little bit of sodium hydrogen carbonate to the mixture and you can definitely see effervescence there um, so we've definitely got a, an acidic solution um, so the the smell which you obviously can't smell um, and the reaction with the carbonate um, showing the production of ethanoic acid so um, successful experiment